Good morning to you from Henstead. I'd like to share a scripture with you this morning. Hebrews 10, verse 36. You have need of patience, perseverance, so that when you've done the will of God, you will receive the reward. The will of God, I was thinking about that last night as I was reading my Oswald Chambers devotional book. He was talking there about surrendering to the will of God. And the thought crossed my mind that if we have the Holy Spirit, we do have the will of God inside us. And Jesus requires that we submit to the Holy Spirit. So if his spirit is in us, we already have his perfect will inside us. And our job is to submit and to be obedient and to love him so that his will can be outworked in our life. Think about the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That means his will done in me, his perfect will done in me, down here as it would be up there. And the time is coming when Jesus returns and he perfects our bodies. And yes, we will be in his perfect will. We will be doing his perfect will for eternity. But he's requiring of us now an obedience, a sacrifice. And we have to ask ourselves the question, what price are we prepared to pay to do the will of God? What are we prepared to give up? What are we prepared to lay down for him? Remember that Abraham was prepared to lay down his only son, Isaac, and God stayed his hand. But remember that the father gave his only son for you, and he spared nothing so that you could have eternal life. And so today... Let's think about doing the will of God in our lives and allowing God to make the changes that he needs to make in us to prepare us for a future, a future with him beyond the darkness. Have a good day.